What are you hoping music brings in your life? Guidance. 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 A, a straight path. And that's all I work for yeah. every day through through when I'm sitting there, through my downfalls, yeah. when I'm like really breaking down, I look for guidance. Richard Forte presents Action. Action. <laughs> Action, he called action. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, this is number 17 of Richard Forte Presents. I'm so happy you made it here with me today because it is a special day in Sweet 16 Studio. I have with me Critical Trees. And if you don't know who this guy is yet, you will soon because you're gonna be hearing him all over the place, in my opinion, I think so and I hope so. Ladies and gentlemen, with no further ado, I'm introducing you to Critical Trees. What's up, guys? How's well, it going? Welcome. How's it going? You're doing Good music, you. you're making shit happen, aren't you? Uh, we're trying. We're you, trying to do something. You're trying to do something. I'm really yeah. become a big fan of you over the last, I think I've been on to you for about a year now. How long have you been making <sighs> music and like putting stuff out? Jeez, man. Well, I started writing when I was like, probably like 14, 15. Yeah. So like ever since How old then, are you now? 21. Okay. We're getting a bit older. <laughs> But like, so I started writing when I was like 15 yeah. and I got in the studio when I was about, I, I want to say 18. Right. My stepdad's fortunately a musician, so he sort of just pushed me to that direction. So yeah, I just got up here to the bay and started recording just everything I wrote, everything. Really? So yeah. when you say you started writing, what was it like poems? Was it, or was it rap songs? Was it, or singing songs? Like. Uh, what is it that you were writing when you first started? Like that got you to put the pen down yeah. and... Yeah, so when I first started writing, I, I would say it's a big inspiration because I, I would listen to people like Kanon, yeah. Drake, like, you know what I mean? Like people that were actually out there yeah. and like that would have an actual message. Yeah. So when I would write, write something, it wasn't really a song. It was just for me to get past through whatever I was going through. And when I was old enough to get into the studio, it, it, it just worked. It just worked for me. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, uh, you have an ear for music, man. You have beautiful melodies. It's something I that it. I caught on as soon as I heard you. And like, this yeah. guy has really got some sounds that are interesting in terms of how you tie things together. Yep. Where did you, so you say your stepfather was into music? Like, did yeah. you have a lot of music growing up around you? Did uh, you always listen to the same type of thing? Or are you a guy I, who listens to no, everything? No, I listen to everything. Like. People call me a rapper, but I am not a rapper. Like I can switch to any genre. Like I just love music. Anything that fits my ear, I'll I'll vibe to. You know what I mean? So, my stepdad was a not a huge country singer, but he was very popular in this area, the Muskoka yeah. Muskoka area. Yeah. So, I just sort of took that influence in and did my own thing. Cool. Yeah. And now, what are you doing? I want to talk about this this big buzz that's happening right now in yeah. particular. That's why I wanted to get you in the studio yeah. today because you got an opportunity for something that's dropping in early October. And yeah. this is gonna get people's attention to kind of see that drop. Tell me about it. Oh yeah, it. so October 5th, I had a great opportunity to do something with Six Buzz and that's a very well-known Canadian hip hop channel in Toronto. And I made this song called Trenches mm. and I made that song about a year ago with, you know, seven, of course. seven packs. So we recorded that about a year ago. And like, I knew that song was going to be special from day one, because like, that was something when I wrote it, I put, I put empathy and like passion. Like when I was, before I knew I had all studios and stuff, I did not think it was possible. Like this, like that's something I wrote through those times. You know what I mean? And Early on, later on, I got into the studio, finally got to record that, that song that I wrote. And yeah, a year after that, we finally got to do our own video. video. And, and you put a lot into that video yeah. too. You took it to the next level, I yeah. believe, right? Yeah, I had all my friends act in it. I, I directed it with my friend Carter, Landis Lake Films. Yes. Uh, Sophie, we had just everyone involved. Do the name drop right now. Do the Sophie, name drop. Let's, let's tag them right now. Darren, can you make Smoke, sure we're like Smokey B, Landis Lake Films, uh, Seven Packs, RP Media. Yeah. 
just so, so many trendy. so many other people young nine toes yes. so many other people but yeah we just put this song into a story that we could all not that we necessarily went through but in the eye that we were around yeah, you yeah. know what i mean so we we just wanted to put something that hasn't been done up here before sure to and show a new vision of it right yeah and you're always pushing the envelope with trying to create something creative for and sure yeah innovative and and yeah. kind of taking it take it to the next level yeah you know like yeah preparing uh you know for the big world out there but also that we can do it right here for real because everyone every in my eyes everyone around me can do it so like that's that's my motive with this music it's a gateway to show people that were in my position that like look i might not be there yet but look how hard i'm trying you yes. can if you put that same effort in you're gonna be there it's really important Nate, for you to to help other people see yeah. what you're doing and get inspired by yeah. it and try to help them out. It I tend to if you don't get the path that I'm on then you got to figure out your path and I'll just figure out mine. Right. You know what I mean? So what is the path you're on? Where do you see yourself going with this? What's the dream? Let's paint the big picture because we're going to we're going to work for it. Mm -hmm. We're going to look back on this in 10 years and laugh about it. Yeah. And be yeah. Like, hey, you remember when we Oh yeah, it, for right? real. Yeah. But Man. but but where do you think that path is going to lead you? What are you hoping music brings in your life? Guidance. 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 A, a straight path. And that's all I work for yeah. every day through through when I'm sitting there, through my downfalls, yeah. when I'm like really breaking down, I look for guidance yeah. and whatever. And it's music at that time yeah, that has but helped you. Like I real. always say Bob Marley and Buddha yeah, saved my life. Exactly. Because whatever whatever guides me to that is music. I'll, I'll sit there and write. I've gone through addiction. I've yeah. gone through depression. I've gone through like... I have severe sh stuff that I could mention, but yeah. like, I the I don't helps. focus on it. I focus on music, right? And that's what gets me that step farther. Yeah, and yeah. I know there's people out there just like that. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So you're channeling it to, to yeah. heal yourself. Yeah, and heal to heal your community. Everyone, everyone. That's yeah. amazing. Isn't that what music's all about? For real, yeah. For me, like the reason I'm doing this show is because I I think that the arts are like a way, like what is art, but something that somebody else created that gets into your brain or your heart yeah. somehow and changes you and opens you up, makes you see something different and then for therefore interesting. Yeah. And for me, the most impactful art that ever affected me and helped me in my life when I was going through my depression and my hard times of figuring mm -hmm. out what the fuck this world is about, yeah. it was music, it was music. but. For me, the key was that I was always, even though I didn't know it consciously at the time, it was like music that was um, of spiritual nature. Yep. Like when you listen to Bob Marley, uh, he's not just singing about anything. He's singing about the ultimate. And that's why I think it transcends cultures. It transcends language. For real. It transcends everything because we all feel it when we Connect, feel it. It connects you. And so when Drake is doing what Drake does, at the end of the day, people can have their opinions, but the reason it connects with that many millions of people is because there is truth to For it. For real. And millions of people will feel what you feel. You just gotta, it sounds cliche, but you gotta believe it. Because once you believe it, it's, it's there. If you imagine it, it's there. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Well, I'm really happy that you took time to come in the studio and introduce yourself to my audience. I appreciate I want, you guys. I want them to go follow you, find you, yeah. subscribe to your channel, all those things that are super important right now because you're like building up and your numbers are going up, man. I'm watching you. Things yeah, are they're building, climbing, like, bro. They're yeah. going fast. And it's going to keep getting better as you yeah. keep putting out great high quality content. So that's what I'm here to encourage you to do, man. Mm -hmm. Just keep it up. Uh, the whole... You know, there's a lot of people watching. We don't all chirp. We don't all talk. But there's a lot of people watching and are proud of what you're doing. Because For real. it is not easy yeah. to make this stuff happen. Yeah, it's not easy. I'm sure you know. <laughs> yeah. So. What would you say to anybody who's a creative right now and they're having a tough time getting their thing done? What would, Man, what any, would be your words of encouragement? Any creator, it doesn't matter if you're in a studio, if you're in recording off a phone because you can search up old stuff i have it's all recorded off a phone you you just gotta pursue it and once you pursue it you just gotta just keep grinding at it 
and let the people around you just just know that that's what you're here for. That's good. Just let it fall into place. Yeah, find your voice. Yeah. And let your voice out. Yep. I hope I get to hear your voice a lot more, man. I'm really for impressed sure. with what you're doing. Thank you so oh, much yeah. for coming by again. Where do we find you? All the uh, links. So Instagram, it's at official.trees with the Z. Uh, YouTube, it's uh, Critical Trees. Spotify, Critical Trees. Facebook, Critical Trees. And yeah, just stay tuned. Make sure you look out for October 5th on 6Buzz. That shit's That's gonna right. be hype. So is that hashtag 6Buzz? Is that where, where people are hashtag, hashtag 6Buzz. Make sure you hashtag that. And Trenches is the song? Yep, Trenches. Okay, cool. Because people are gonna groove with it. I'm telling you, man. I'm just like, I'm just an early adopter. I always for have real. been, always will be, bro. Yep. And I'm telling you, if you keep it up, I predict good things for you. I appreciate you. it. So be real. Enjoy the process. Man. Thank you for having me. Because it's got to be fun. It is. It's always fun. It's always a journey. Cool. I appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Woo!